Hi everyone, I just want to do an update regarding something that has actually really upset me. Um, today I've spent the day again writing another blog about Scientology, about their awful mistreatment of children, especially autistic children. I've written, I think it's two blogs in the last four days in relation to Scientology's quackery and how they are targeting um, vulnerable people with their bogus therapies. One of these therapies, if you can call it a therapy, is the purification rundown. I've written about this many times and people are fully aware of um, how crazy it is and the consequences of um, adults even taking this niacin, which is the main supplement that they use in this uh, protocol. Anyway, today I wrote a blog which is really, really important. It's about the Scientology Community Centre at Furhouse Dublin regarding um, one of their staff members offering me the purification rundown, not just for me, but for my autistic son. I've written a blog and I've released the calls I had with Scientology Fairhouse in relation to this issue. And people can find that on my WordPress. It's on Facebook as well right now. Um, when I was doing my research for my blog, um, I always make sure that there's a lot of information especially for new readers who might not know what Scientology is, who might not understand the campaign work that we do, etc. So I always add in links to lead to previous articles that I've done so that they can get a, a full picture on what we're, what we're doing. And today, whilst I was um, writing about the purification rundown, I decided to do this. And what I did was link into an article that I basically was involved in in August of this year. So last August, I discovered the Mace Kingsley Centre. The Mace Kingsley Centre is based in Clearwater, Florida. It's a huge centre. It's been known for many years. And um, I went on to cover and I phoned them several times and they offered me the purification rundown for my autistic child. They told me they were um, giving it to children that weren't involved in Scientology. Uh, it cost thousands and thousands of dollars that they could make non-verbal autistic children talk. I mean, I was just horrified. I immediately uh, rang Child Protection Services in Florida I spent nearly an hour on the phone filing a proper complaint. Um, I made a video um, pretty much within the next few days of doing the complaint, and a man called Rod Keller reached out to me on Facebook. Now, Rod Keller was saying this was great research, great job you've done there, and would you like me to write an article and publish it on Tony Ortega's blog? Of course, I said, yeah, it'd be great you know, to get some attention to this and hopefully stop this quackery. Um, Tony Ortega, um, if you're watching, you have also um, published a blog that I worked with, with you on, um, I think it was the year before last, in relation to the BBC documentary, which happened because of a blog that I wrote about um, these maniacs abusing autistic ch children with a therapy called spot training, which uses a similar Scientology um, bull baiting techniques. Um, you know, I was happy for you, Tony, to um, publish that information and we worked together on that story. But since then, Tony has not engaged with me on any of the campaigning we've done, any of the stories that I've done. And when Rod Keller reached out to me last August and he said we'll do a story, I said, that's great, because I know that Tony has um, good traction on his website and he's well known in this field. So anyway, the story published on the 6th of August and Rod sent me a Facebook message to tell me that it had been put up online. I went to read it, and I think it was titled like something like um, Autistic Campaigner Takes a Stand on Mace Kingsley Centre. My video was there. My name was there. You know, it was an accurate account of the information I'd given, okay? Um, I don't get paid for my stories. Let's just clarify things here. I don't have a donate button on my WordPress. I do all of this for free. I've never been given one cent for the stories that I've written, and I've been working really hard campaigning for autistic children's rights for four years now. Anyway, as I was doing my blog today, feeling very tired, I'm actually in the recovery of a horrendous chest infection, so I'm really, really not feeling the best. My laptop has died, so I had to do this blog on my phone, which took me twice as long to complete. So I was really just struggling to get this put together today. Um, and people know that I'm a busy mom to five children, so this isn't easy, what I'm doing, okay? The time that I give to this is, is, is really genuine, you know, hard work. Okay? Anyway, I was completing the blog and I went to find this link for Tony Ortega's story or Rod Keller's story on Tony's website about the Mace Kingsley Centre, about me reporting it last uh, summer. However, when I clicked on the link, which I'd already shared before, and Tony, I've shared all your work. I've actually used your work to educate people. I don't know, I've quoted you countless times. 
So I go and get the link to give the background information on the Pure in relation to the Mace Kingsley Centre. I'd already put up a photograph and I went, all right, now I can just have this. This will explain blah, blah, blah. And when I click on the link, everything about me is gone. My video's gone. The article looks ridiculous because what it's saying is someone is taking a stand and someone reported the Mace Kingsley Centre. Someone. Instead of Fiona O'Leary reporting the Mace Kingsley Centre, which is fact, it wasn't you, Tony, that did that. It wasn't Rod. It wasn't Mickey Mouse. It wasn't the Pope. I did it. All of that's been removed and the article looks stupid, actually. It actually looks stupid because it doesn't actually make sense. But that's what Tony did. So I'm like, what the hey, you know? What's going on here? You know what I mean? Um, now I can't add this to my story. And the whole thing has changed. So all my hard work, ringing the Mace Kingsley Centre at my own expense, um, reporting them to CPS, which took me an hour. Okay, I live in Ireland. And when I rang Child Protection, I'm like, why is an Irish woman reporting you know, this in America? Hello? I don't know. Have you reported the Mace Kingsley Centre, Tony, to Child Protection Services? I'm just asking you, out of interest. Anyway, I couldn't believe it. So I was like trying to finish my blog and not get stressed out, obviously. So I reached out to Rod Keller on Facebook, the guy that actually took my story, took my video, and had it published on Tony's website. And he's like, I just unbelievable like Rod. I mean, I don't know, if you were writing stories and someone comes along and deletes your work or changes your work without your consent, that's bullshit, okay? Do you know what he says to me? I didn't do it. Tony did it. You better talk to him. So here's Rod letting Tony uh, sabotage his work or sabotage my story and nothing's being said because he can't, you know, don't say anything bad about Tony. So anyway, my friends, and I'm grateful for my friends, reached out to Tony, okay, online. My husband, Tim, tried to engage with Tony on his bunker website, joined up to do that, put a comment up and it was deleted. Now, I don't know if Tony did that or somebody else, but... He couldn't, he didn't even have the manners to respond to my husband, okay? Then my other friend John tried to talk to him, and his response to John was awful. And this is what he said, and I'm going to read his response right now. One second, because I'm actually opening up um, it here. He basically said to John that um, he doesn't want her on her website. Me. Her. Like I'm some kind of vermin, Okay? She's got many platforms, you know, I'm sure she'll be okay, or something like that, okay? But the thing is, he didn't mind me being on his website when he could score a story and maybe earn a few pounds or dollars with his donate button because of my hard work, okay? But now I'm just deleted with no explanation given. Ortega, you didn't even have the balls to message me on Facebook and explain to me why you did this. You just did it, okay? So my husband's comments deleted. He makes some... Nasty remark to my other friend, and then even challenges my friend and says, "Are you joking?" When he when he stands up for me, how dare you, Tony Ortega, treat me this way? And just for the record, just because you think you are like this kind of godfather on this subject, there are other people out there doing really hard work, and I am one of those people. And we have a crisis situation in Ireland right now. If you took the time to read my work and my recent blog. Children are being given the purification rundown, autistic children. That's important, but maybe it's not important to you. But it is to me. Guess why? Because I have autistic children. You see, this is personal for me. This affects my family. I've never had this happen, actually. If you have a grievance with me, and I really don't know what that grievance is, because you haven't explained why you've done this. You didn't even have a, the manners to talk to me. You just go and delete me. Leave up the, the, the article, which looks ridiculous. And I'm asking you to remove the article now, actually. I'm, I'm actually reaching out to you. I'm calling on you to do that. And I'm also calling on you to apologise. Now, I know there was some infighting recently in relation to Pete Griffiths and other people that are in the anti-Scientology group campaigning. You know? And there's been voices raised and concerns and people have different opinions. That's fine. We're all entitled to do that. But it doesn't mean you should take this kind of attitude where you... Basically, take your personal differences and act in this way. And if, if that is the reason, I wish, I'd wish i love to know why I've been deleted and my, my name is being blackened. Um, I think I deserve that, actually. 
And I think this is a real serious element as well in the work that I've been doing. And it's made me think about how I, how, how I present my work from this day forth. I'm giving stories to journalists left, right and centre. They're all making a living out of that. You know? I've had people reaching out to me from America recently, sharing their stories with me. And I've never taken one cent. Oh, well, I can't. I mean, I, I, I don't make money. But my work is just as good as these people that are being paid, if not better. Do you know why? Because I, I am brave. And I ring these people up. And I expose them for the quacks that they are. Okay? Do you think I like doing that? I don't. But that's the only way to get the information from Scientology because they're so bloody twisted and deceitful. They don't openly advertise purification rundown on their website. I had to get this information today by posing interest as a, a potential client or customer doing an online personality test. That's how I got the information from uh, Laszlo at Four House Dublin. Now I've got them threatening me with um, harassment charges because I make a phone call. I suppose what I'd like to say, actually, is that what I've witnessed today, at least with Scientology, you know where you stand. You know they're nuts, and you know what they're doing is insane. But with people like Ortega and these people that have got this kind of elitist cult, which is what I'm going to use the word, that are speaking out against Scientology for years and years, they want to talk about it forever because they're making a living out of it, and they don't want it to stop because it's like something that they can't get off this hamster wheel obsessive behavior I don't know what it is we want the abuse to end that's what we want you know I want kids to stop being abused I don't want to talk about Scientology for the rest of my bloody life I have a life I have other interests you know but these people don't want that because it's their life it's their income but I can tell you something through all of my work engaging with some rags of papers and I have I've had, I mean, I've had the most horrendous experience with some journalists in the past. I've never been treated like this. And I'm absolutely outraged with what you've done, Ortega. And whatever you think it will do for you, it hasn't done that. In fact, it's reflected really badly on you and shows you for the spiteful, petty person that you are. Now, your wife, I believe is your wife, is Ariella. I don't know what I've pronounced that correctly made comments about me in Pete Griffith's group about two weeks ago. And she compared me, compared me to Gemma Harris, the Scientologist that promotes MMS bleach. So just think about that, guys. That's what his wife compared me to. After all the hard work that I've been doing, ringing people, I've travelled to the EU to talk about quacks. I've done everything. I've been in the courts three times. I'm going to be in the courts probably until the day I die in relation to this stuff. Trying to get justice for children, whether they're autistic or not. And this is how I'm treated by the godfather of Scientology and his wife. And I'm told I can't say anything about Ortega. You know? Well, who the hell do you think you are? You know? This is like a Scientology kind of um, show. That's what I was talking to my friends earlier about. It is a Scientology show, really. Like the Truman Show where they control the strings. You can only say it this way or that way. You know, and if you don't do what we want, you're out. I've been kicked out of all the groups. I've had, you know, people reach out to me, call me names. I've had my autism diagnosis rubbed in my face over and over again. She's not competent. You're mentally deranged. This isn't from Scientologists. This is from so-called activists against Scientology. This is what, I mean, they're actually worse than the Scientologists themselves. Like I said, you know where you stand with Scientology, but with these bitches, which is what they are, who stab you in the back, and all they care about at the end of the day is having their name in the lights. Hollywood. Fine lunches and dinners. Jesus, isn't it great for you guys to be able to do that? Travel all over the world. You're making money out of vulnerable people. And it's pretty sick, actually. You know that? It really is. I think it's wrong. I really, really do. Um, anyway, I'm calling on you, Ortega, to apologise to me. I've done nothing to you. We've had no interaction. You haven't reached out to me. You just decided me to treat me like a piece of crap. Take that article down. Do the right thing, okay? Because you look like an ass right now. And you know what? 
we need to work together on this. Really, that's how things can get achieved, you know. And I don't understand these so-called people that say they're activists while they're not reporting these people. Some of them are. I'm hoping they are. But, you know, I did that. I took the time out of my life to do that. And I feel really let down, actually. You know, I, I can't even link to my own story that I worked on because it's been deleted. That, to me, is just bitchy behavior. Actually, my children wouldn't be that immature. So I want something done about it, Ortega, okay? Because this isn't going to go away. And we're not going to stop speaking out the way that we feel is fit. Not to intellectualize Scientology or give them some kind of a platform where we can talk about this till the cows come home. There's, you know, what we need to be doing is working on ways to act on this issue with the authorities, actually. Enough of the red carpet, glitzy, you know, glamour, celebrity stuff. You know, let's tackle it with the government and with the authorities. That's what needs to be done. And that's what I'm going to do in Ireland. I can't work for the same for America. And to be honest with you, I, I made a complaint to Child Protection in Clearwater. I didn't even get a response. I don't know what's going over there. But we're not like that here in Ireland, okay? We've had to fight for a lot in this country. And we're passionate. And we're not afraid to stand up to this cult. And when I campaigned at Dublin and we did that protest, I met some wonderful people from Fur House, from Tala area. And they don't take any crap. And we're not going to take any crap from anybody. And that includes journalists who think they are the bee's knees. Because you're not, Tony. We're all equal in this fight. And we all deserve the same respect. Don't take people's work. Put it out there. Profit in the process. And then delete them like they're a piece of shit. Which is what you've done to me. So do something about it, okay? Because I do not... And I won't, I won't lie down on this. I'm not going to stop, okay? So if you want your reputation to remain any bit credible, remove the article. Don't talk to me anymore. I couldn't give a toss about your website, okay? I don't need you, okay? Remember, you came to me. I didn't come to you. It was Rod that reached out to me. So until you both grow a pair, that's all I have to say for now. Thanks for watching, guys. And just remember that, you know, the real hard work that goes on behind the scenes, making the calls, going through that horrendous phone call, hearing my children be described in such the most awful way. That hurts me. But I do it because I care. And I do it because I want it to end. I don't want Scientology to have a breath. I want it to end because it's evil. Okay? And I think all you journalists out there with donate buttons have made enough money already. Thanks for watching, guys, and um, I'll update you shortly with any news that I hear in relation to Fur House Dublin. Night. <laughs>